Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we beat a shrine over there, We and on our, well, sure, we did that whilst on our way to seeing Impa in Kakariko Village. And today, um, you know, after leaving that episode off so abruptly, I figured today we're actually going to, uh, we're actually going to make it that time. Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. We're actually going to make it this time. We're not going to like stop halfway through and and such. But first things first, we have another shrine right here. This is the Ka Dam Dahama shrine. I don't know. I butcher all of these pronunciations, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. The Water Guides. Oh, I love this. I love this one. I forgot about it, but I love it, love it, love it so much. Because you just use Cryonis in such an interesting way. Like, just watch this. You can. It shows that you can use it on the side of waterfalls and stuff. I have a thing. I have an idea. Uh, I'm not going to test it, obviously, because I can't. I don't have the necessary item. Actually, I'll break that, put it there. I don't actually have the necessary item to test what I was going to test, but, uh, you know. Uh, come on. Okay, freeze. There we go. And I'm not going to come back in my own file and in my other file to just to test it, despite knowing what it is. Or despite actually having it in my actual file. I keep saying my actual file. I do mean my personal file, because... You know, I, I guess people would get confused between my Let's Play file and my act and my uh, personal file. I went to say actual again. Go up here and get this chest. You get a nice purple rupee. Rupees do exist in this game, and I thought I would get the rupees um, earlier than what I have done just then. But that's not too terribly bad. We still managed to actually, you know, get some rupees. And I think from this one, yeah, I think, I, I do like this puzzle. So I think you do that. Let's just check. Yep, you do. Move those roll off. Put one right about there. Or not. One right about there. There we go. That's going to roll, it's going to hit there, so we're going to put another one just there. Going to roll off. And ro can we get down there before it gets in the hole? Yeah, we can. There we go. And there's another shrine completed. And there we go, that shrine is now completed. We're now up to five. No, I think it's uh, six shrines complete now. Let's talk to you. Good evening. Uh, don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, I sometimes it's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Harrow Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. I know all about them. Uh, basically, did she just say she's going to go in the shrine? That's interesting. Uh, basically, with elixirs, all you need is all you need to do is mix uh, a couple of monster parts. I think you just mix monster parts and and uh, in uh, some kind of ingredient. Here, you can. Um, go talk to this guy, and this is Beedle, making his, well, making another appearance in this game. I don't necessarily know, don't necessarily know when, uh, his, uh, how many appearances, I, I can't speak today. I don't know how many appearances he's actually had in the Zelda timeline. You can buy stuff off of him, or you can sell stuff for rupees. So you can sell a bunch of ingredients you don't need. I'm actually going to keep all of my ancient stuff, because I do technically need them. But, we no longer need the old shirt. And we no longer need the well-worn trousers. I don't think. No, we do not. 
Doesn't give you much for each bit of equipment, but that's about it. Uh, I don't think there's no no more no materials that we need to sell. So we're just gonna leave you, leave you be, leave you beetle. <laughs> I made it funny. Anyway, uh, over here we can uh, steal some some pieces of uh, pieces of stuff from other people. Uh, I'm just gonna break this torch just to get a new one. There we go. Torch. You can pick up that pitchfork, but I don't believe it's actually a very good... Actually, let's check. Uh, it's seven. I don't think we'll need it, though. Oh, look, it's a dog! Oh, it's so cute! Wait, do you have, like, yellow eyes? Ah, oh, he's adorable. Alright. Enough of uh, looking at dogs. We still need to follow the point marked on our map. And if there are any around, I will show the best way we can do that. Oh, I'm pretty sure all of these guardians are actually deactivated. So you don't really need to worry about um, the potential of any of them coming alive and attacking you. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, don't 100% don't quote me on that. Horses! Try and mount a horse, soothe it as much as you can, and if you can, you get a buddy, you get a companion, you get a friend. Oh, this is a good horse. Oh, uh, you're taking me to a treasure chest, which I have never discovered in my life before. Oh, it's just fire arrows. That's cool. Uh, uh, I hope silver away. I don't know. But yes, you can actually ride horses in this game. Um, it's, uh, horses with better stats, like this one, apparently they're harder to tame. I tamed that one pretty easily, despite me just saying that. But if the horse has better stats, it is relatively harder to tame, and, you know, you're gonna... Ugh, you'll have a better time trying to... You're supposed to be smart. Don't run off of edges. That's not good. Alright, let's soothe it a second. Can we? Can we? Can we? Yes, we can. Let's just keep soothing it. Oh, he looks so sad. I do know that you can, um... You can take these horses into the stables that we just walked past. And, um... You know, you register them, you pay a you pay a small fee, register the uh, horse in the stable, and then you can call it all well, some of the time. If it's nearby, you can call it and it'll come straight to you. But I'm not going to do that because I don't think we're actually going to have this horse for too terribly long. Ooh. Hello. I've never seen you before. I know who you are. I'm gonna leave my horse there a second. Hello? This is Hestu! You, you can see me? I can see you. Shalazar, Shalaz. Shalaka. I almost said Shalazar twice. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been ever able, has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. And I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my power without them. So please, please get my maracas back from the... Oh god, what? Uh, my, um... Oh, I struggled to talk then. But yeah, he wants us to get the maracas back for him. And you may notice he is a very big Korok. And, you know, we've been collecting Korok seeds for presumably no reason. Uh, I have a torch out, and I would really would rather have uh, my hammer. Actually, would I rather have my hammer? Uh, oh, I mean, it's about to break, so I might as well just... I might as well just use it. Use it up! Jeez. Um, what item should I go for next? Screw it. Rusty Broadsword, just because it's there. Oh, 
I dodged that. I don't know how that even managed to hit me. Alright, uh, I need a new weapon. Uh, Traveler's Claymore. Why not? It's a big weapon, but I'm sure I will suffice. Or it will suffice. I am not the one who needs to suffice. It is the weapon. Uh... You're not dead! Ugh, and I can't even... Oh, crap. Um... I really don't want to climb down there to kill him. But I might have to. Unless I can aim from, like, up here. Oh, what am I on about? I have bombs! Hader. This is going to be the worst death for him. There we go. At least he died. And we can see the chest has been unlocked. This is actually something I've, again, I've not done in my personal file, even though I've done a lot of things in my personal file. But we have Hestu's Maracas. Where's my horse gone? I, I tried cutting the video just to like get back to Hestu before well, without talking the way down, but Oh, it's over there. Okay. Shalakala! Those are those are my maracas! Please give them to me. There you go. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. Oh, the Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If I just had one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. You see, I have a power of inventory, inventory expansion, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Hell yeah, we got some. We got five. Uh, but wait... Do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. Here. So what stash do you want me to improve the slots for? I'm gonna go weapons, because I always seem to run out of uh, weapon storage. He is adorable. Oh, and he sings along to the- Ah, that's cute! Your weapon stash has been expanded. I still smell Korok seeds on you. How many times- Can we do this for one? Each? Upgrade my shield, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be here a while. Oh, I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to the Korok Forest if you find any. And I know where that is, but, you know, we, we aren't told of that location as of right now. He's just assuming that we know where it is. Come, Silver! Away! Actually, I'm gonna quickly just heal myself. Uh, we can use an acorn and then two Hylian shrooms. That'll be cool. Uh, this way. Thank you. Stop going into the walls. Thank you. <sighs> I thought the horse AI was supposed to be good in this game. And even then, this isn't technically the AI. It's supposed to be me controlling it, but I'm actually going in the direction I'm supposed to be moving in. Oh, uh, speaking of Koroks. Alright, let's get off you. We have a little Korok puzzle right... I said we have a little Korok puzzle right here. Match the two blocks up by putting this one here. And we get a little Korok friend. Alright, there we go. Can you stop just getting everywhere where you're not supposed to be? We need to get to Kakariko Village, my friend. And you're taking me there. 
We're almost there. Come on. Stop running into the freaking walls, man. Just trot. And now you can run at full speed. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. Um, where is that? Where is that? Uh, is it down here anywhere? You know what? I think it might be. No, I think it isn't. Uh, I think it might be up there, actually. I'll climb this and... Actually, no. Uh, can I climb anywhere? Here. I can climb here. And it is in this direction. Okay, cool. I feel bad because I kind of just abandoned my horse for uh, collectible. But it increases my stamina and... Or my heart containers. But I'm putting it on stamina. Purely because I, I prioritize the stamina in this game. Uh, we can see down there that is actually Kakariko Village, but there is a shrine nearby. I think it's up here. And if it is, I've never been to this shrine either. There's a lot of shrines I haven't actually been to. Is it up here? I don't think it is, because my thing's no longer going off. Unless it's over there. We'll find out once we get to the top of this. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Uh, no! Shoot. We ran out of stamina. So it is saying it's over this way, so let's just paraglide over. Paraglide? Is that a verb? Oh, it's the shrine that's right there, and I was going to get that later anyway. Of course. Here we can see we're actually in Kakariko Village. Follow our target, and we can see that... Where is... Is the target going to show up straight on the map? Yes, maybe? Uh, screw it. We can see the Impa's here. Yeah, there we go. We can see the Impa's actually in here, and... Ooh. A, a man? Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate! Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Le... Le uh, oh, it's it's not that I forgot, I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name's pa 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 Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your returns ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Will do, Paya. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes. They lack a light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One. Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I see. So, you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please, come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the Kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave, you the I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. 
Can we talk to you straight away? The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to, these, on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? <laughs> ah, not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with the only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of canon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Van Rudu uh, Rudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Va Medo, controlled by Revali of the Rito. 
the divine beast Van Ruta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora, and the divine beast Van Aboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the, prower, the power of the divine beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beast that was stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. And here we're giving four main pinpoints. We're going to be heading to the one that's closer and then kind of go around uh, anti-clockwise. So we're going to the one that's close to us, then the one that's close to that, and then the other side, and then, yeah. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be our plan, actually. I don't necessarily know, but, you know, I do have a good indication of that. The Sheikah Slate will guide your way, and uh, you must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. And that is our new main objective. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you, your guide, or is your guide, and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatano Village might be able to help you. But now we have another objective, to go to Hatano Village. A uh, small village, and yeah, it's literally what it is. It's just a small village. And that is what we need to do first and foremost. We do need to get um, our Sheikah Slate actually fixed properly. But we'll do that all in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and hey, how you doing? See you all next time. Goodbye.